Welcome back viewers, a bit of a two for now, a two for one, a review of a fusion and arthrodesis on this chap's right foot and an injection to his left. Righty, let's get going. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to just quickly just do an introduction, sir. So mm -hmm. this one is three months after surgery? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was a right first metatarsophalangeal joint arthrodesis. It's actually a medial incision on this one. I normally do a dorsal, but we went for medial this time. We've done two screws on that. Two screws. Two screws on that. And there was a pin. Temporarily, yes, yeah, a ten yeah. pin that came out. What's the purpose of that? The well, that's a really good question, Gary. So what you do is you first off is you put the pin um, down the down the fairway, really, to, to, to get your, your temporary angle. So what you do, you put your pin in, and then you can check your position. Uh -huh. And that's known as a temporary fixation. And then you put the screws around the pin. Sometimes I'll leave the pin in, as I did with mm -hmm. you. But that first pin is to get temporary fixation. Because if you're trying to put a screw in oh, and it's moving around, of course you, it won't you, you want something almost like somebody holding it in the way. Isn't it? That's exactly what it is. So it allows you then to kind of x ray and just mm -hmm. check. So we did that under x ray so we, we knew where we were. You had some questions for me, Gary? Yeah, I suppose really it's just the other foot, really, in, in respect of that sort of thing and um, where, where we sort of go with this uh, view of the x ray. And um, on exactly the same. So yeah. we've, we've been looking at this foot for what, two years now, three yeah, years now? Yeah, yeah. So you had how many injections of that? Two, three, five? Yeah, yeah. something like that, yeah. Because I can't four, count. Maybe four, something like okay. that, yeah. So over a period of time, we kept you comfortable with injections. Definitely. And we got to the point where the injections kind of ran out of efficacy, which happens as mm. typically the arthritis gets worse. And then we get to the point where we say, okay, it's time to do something surgical infusion for you. So it's the same with this. You can just see there's still a little bit of swelling on this side compared yeah. to this, but this is early days. Yes. So we're looking at Gary's of the foot now. This one has got some early hallux limitus. It's... Long first ray, Gary, or long first metatarsal. So your problem, the same on the other foot, is your metatarsal is a bit longer than it should be. So I'm just going to mark you up. That's yeah, come on. Go on. You yeah, the question? interesting comment you made just then about the the metatarsal and the length of it, because I'm interested in to sort of the cause. And you I know like that, a bit of engineering, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I think that uh, there can be many causes, can't there? I suppose. But uh, the the interesting thing, and I never really looked at my toes, is that I would say my my toe is quite long, but I don't know. So although the jaw is out in terms of what the scientists say, we have kind of scientific guys who look at this and trying to work out, oh, look at that, this colour will come off in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. don't we? Um, who look at the, the science and say a long first ray, or particularly a long first metatarsal, is not an issue. I, I really think it is. And when I say people think it's not an issue, they've looked at patients that have had surgery had a problem they looked at an rays and go yeah there's, there's a few that have a long face first rape but not everybody i actually think i see a majority of my patients who've got either a long so the first ray gary is metatarsal and toe so that's mm -hmm. the, it's the whole of the segment so you could actually have a normal metatarsal and a big long big toe or you could have a long metatarsal and a normal big toe mm -hmm. you've got kind of both really you've got long metatarsal and a big toe and the theory is if it's a little bit longer gets a bit more pressure yeah with every step you take mm. who was that queen 1979 not queen not queen the other ones please oh yeah, yeah. please sorry it's all right getting up and i just think every every step you take mm. you put a bit more pressure on so yes. we're going to do a little kenalog shot for the a bit of kenalog trimcinolone my particular favorite for a joint so we're just going to put a little bit of a smidge in. Mm -hmm. So Gary, you've got a driver today, haven't you? You're not driving yourself back. That's right. We don't let patient drive after a mm -hmm. course on shot. So we're just going to pop this in. So typically use about 30 mg of Kenalog Triamcinolone. It's a fluorinated insoluble compound. So I've marked up. So the technique is distract, plantar flex, Dorsal medial light to go now. Oh, look straight in. Nice for the camera. If it hadn't gone straight in, Gary, then I would have edited the video to make it look like I've gone straight in. Bit of pressure. That's going to go straight in the sim bin. Good night, Vienna. Now, rule of thumb is take it easy for the rest of the day. It can be a bit stingy. Yep. Did you have any issues with the other injections for the right foot? Uh, only, uh, it did flare sort of, uh, uh, the last one or two flared. It did didn't, the, the early one. ones didn't. So okay. the, the last couple flared a little bit, which sort of made me grit my teeth. Yeah, bit. we think if you take it easy for the rest of the day, that the, the chances of flare are less. And I'm, you know, I've never really seen the proof of that, but my thinking is the less you do, 
the less you squish it out of the area, the more it stays where I want it to do to work on the inside of the joint just to settle that inflammation. And it seems to work a little bit better as well if you're off it less, because again, it's where it kind of needs to be. The flare is said to be micro crystalline suspension of steroid. Now, I've never really got how an anti-inflammatory can cause inflammation, but there you go. I'm a simple guy. Mm -hmm. Right, boy. Thank you for the video. Now, as per what we normally do, mm -hmm. is we do a six week review, see how we're going. Yeah. And then in theory, what we want to do is this foot's going to settle down with time. This is hopefully going to last you a lifetime. Okay. This one, I think maybe kind of six, 12 months for the first injection and think maybe within say five years, we might do the other foot. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. Yeah. Any other questions you might? No, just with regards to sort of the uh, image, you know, what's, what point that is. I know you sort of said um, when we, we x-rayed this a couple of years ago yeah. or whatever, and you have sort of a, an opinion on the deterioration with regards to the cartilage and, and the joint at this this stage. Yeah, yeah. Thing. What, if looking at that picture on there, what would you say with regards to the picture? So you're about a five out of 10 right. in terms of that, you've got some reduction of joint space. You look on the lateral view, you've got a very slight exostosis. So it's about halfway there. Mm. So looking at joints like this will typically keep you comfortable for you know a, a year or two, as we did with this one, mm. really. Yeah, yeah. And then we do sequential x-rays to see how the cartilage goes. Mm. To get to the point where I'll ask you a question, we'll say, how many Fs are there in cartilage, Gary? Mm. And you'll mm. say, None. there's no F in cartilage. <laughs> and I'll say, exactly, <laughs> and that's the problem. Yeah. And that's when we yeah. use it. Yeah, that's good for the video, that one. Well, you know, it's not the best joke. Yeah, no, I, yeah. You've heard some of my jokes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. no, but it's, you have to listen carefully. You do, you do, really. My best one of the week so far. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go into making honey. Did I tell you? Oh, really? Yeah. Have, so, you, got, have you got hives in So it? I've got the hives. I went to buy the bees at the weekend, and I went to see the guy in the shop, and he said, right, we'll start off, you want one queen, and you want about 21 workers, you know, to kind of do all the, kind of got the pellet in. So I said, okay, fine. So I got... I got one queen and 21 workers. I got home, I counted them out, and there was 22 workers. I thought, what was going on? So I rang him up and I said, you sold me 22, but I paid for 21. He said, oh, that's a freebie. Ah, the bee, yeah. You see? Yeah, I love that. I was very good. Go. Yeah. But, but, you know, short no, notice. I know, I think it's very good. I'm very going to stop good. now, because otherwise yeah. they're going to get a bit out of, out no, of no, no, right. I'm going to ask Christmas, Yeah, and you, yeah, thank you for your time.